Now it's Saturday and there's a whole bunch of people here waiting to get let in. Today is Saturday, the very first day. So let's go inside and look at some reptiles. I'm here at Crete Royal Pythons and we've got a lightning pied. So everyone knows what a pied is, but the lightning, well, it looks very, very clean. A little bit kind of mellowed out a bit too. One of the cooler animals on the table that we've seen so far today. And I think that uh, as we go along, we're gonna see some really cool morphs, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat this one. So what we've got here is a rhino rat snake. This is a dream species for basically everybody. We don't really see a lot of these in Canada. And in fact, Fusion Reptiles is the only place in Canada, or in Quebec rather, that is producing these. So a really cool snake. They're arboreal. They're from parts of Asia. But you need a little bit of a water feature. You need something up in the air. You need, it's a little bit more difficult and unique. And also, they have this little horn on their face. One of the coolest colubrids I've ever seen, and definitely a top five coolest reptile here at the Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo 2022. So here with Mike Taitula, Pika Squad, and uh, yeah. right? <laughs> I'm really excited to see this. So this is a hognose yeah. snake, obviously, right? Yep. You guys see them all the time. But well, what's different about this hognose snake in comparison to stuff you see on my channel and everybody else's? This hognose snake genetically is a conda head albino. Wow, really? Yes. That's what we know. We obviously have never seen anything like this before. Nobody really has. Uh, as far as we can tell, it could be something like a paradox. It could be vitiligo. We have no idea. Okay. We're trying Just, to figure it out. Yes, yeah, exactly. Okay. We're trying to figure it out. So besides this, what other cool stuff could you find at the Jungle Vault if you decided to come to a reptile expo like this? The attention to detail, I would say. Uh, for all of our hognose snakes, we have feeding records, shedding records, weight, weight records, all given at purchase. Uh, there's also some interesting things you might not see elsewhere, like the grass lizards uh, and some cool plants as well. So there you go, that's the number two coolest reptile that you'll find at the Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo. And when they go to step up on people, they always go to steady the perch first. So if you hand them off, they always meet you, that's their other hand, right? So, step up. <laughs> okay. So this bird doesn't like me, but that's okay. Blackheart Exotics at the Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo. This is the number four, this is a three, number four coolest thing I've seen at this expo. What is this exactly? That's an orange dream scales. So it's a scaleless ball python, and what makes a ball python different without scales than the normal ones that have scales? So they feel a lot like human skin, mm -hmm. and they take a little extra care. They shed quite often, and they quite uh, often need help with the shedding process. So it's, it's something that takes a little more care than a normal one, but. That's about it. You know what it feels like? It feels like shaking my grandma's hand. That's what oh, it feels it? like. Yeah. yeah. It feels like a, like, like kind of like a older skin. It's very smooth, very interesting. And also, they don't have ventral scales. Is that right? That's right. They don't. No. They don't have heat pits either. So no heat pits and no ventral scales makes it a little bit different, a little bit more unique. And you're not going to see these really anywhere except for here at the expo. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, West Africa is far, far away. Why did you want to make a video about ball pythons in the wild? Because it needed to be done. Nobody has ever done it before. Okay, so that was day one, and that means that tomorrow we're going to be back here and we're going to talk to some reptile people, and I'm going to show you the craziest thing that I have ever bought. Ever. Day two, Sunday. Today is Sunday, and it's the last day of the Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo, Canadian Pet Expo, and all the aquarium stuff, and I want to show you all of it. Yesterday was a busy day, today is a little bit more relaxed. For now, let's show you some other really cool stuff.
We've got here a banana OD Enchi special. Now ball pythons don't even look like ball pythons anymore sometimes. This thing like leapt off the table at me. Just it looks like it's a highlighter. If a highlighter was personified and then turned into a snake, it would be one of these guys right here. So we're at Canadian Balls and they've got some of the coolest snakes that I've ever seen. Ball pythons are getting absolutely wild in Canada. If you're sleeping on them, now's the time maybe to get into a cool project. He was so excited. He was watching your video last night. He's like, Dave Kaufman's coming too. Oh, that's awesome. Well, great to meet you guys. Have fun. One of the best parts about going to a reptile expo is getting your very first reptile or amphibian. So, Brittany, what are you getting? Frog. What kind of frog? Fat boy. <laughs> a fat boy frog. So, Pac-Man frogs are very easy to take care of. What are you going to feed it? Crickets. Where are you going to keep it? In an enclosure. In an enclosure. The point is you should always research your animal before you come. And make sure that you have an enclosure ready to go before you come. Or run into your friend who has too many enclosures who's going to give you the enclosure to put the frog in because it's already set up. Are you excited? Yes. Let's go buy your frog. Okay. <laughs> oh, they're only 25 bucks. What's the Pac-Man's frog's name? Peaches. Peaches? <laughs> and how do you feel about having your very first amphibian? Excited and okay. nervous. Why'd you pick this frog? Fat boy. <laughs> Fat boy? Okay. As long as you do the research, you know how to take care of it, you know what you're getting yourself in for. If you want a frog because he's a little fat boy and you think he's cute, then there's nothing wrong with that. The next entry is something that I talk about a lot. It's something that I would love to bring home but just do not have the room for, but a very cool gecko, frog-eyed geckos. Now, these are very interesting because they don't get that big. This is about a full size, a breeder female, so they don't get much bigger than this but they have these giant eyes and they have these stout bodies. And like the Felsumas, they will kind of tear their skin off to get away from you. So they have a very interesting way of kind of escaping predation, let's say. Also, their tails are kind of like stubby. They're, they're gonna be on the ground. You can see them out. They're not gonna hide all the time, but they're definitely not gonna be as social as something like a leopard gecko or a African fat tail or something like that. Nonetheless, I think it's one of the coolest animals here. Most people don't even know that they exist. Frog, I guess. The number one coolest thing that I saw at the Reptile Breeders Expo that you will never see at any expo in the United States, this is a Fiji banded iguana. Well, it's technically a Tonga banded iguana, right? Yeah. So it comes from the Fiji archipelago and they are endangered and they are not allowed to be brought into the US. You'll never see these in the US except for in a private collection they shouldn't be in or in a zoo. So this is by far the coolest animal that you're gonna find at any expo and it's only here at the Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo. And he's coming home with me. So if you haven't hit subscribe already, hit subscribe right now so you can see more of this guy. Oh, So he's gonna be even bluer than this. Oh yeah. Like the photos that I posted, did you see him? So I didn't, I didn't even know these were here until I walked across. Oh. So Annalise, as a wrap up, what was your favorite thing about Canadian Pet Expo 2022 that you've never seen any other expo except for here? I just saw, and I didn't know it was here until like literally 20 minutes ago, a blue-eyed house snake at Pet Paradise's booth. I 
I've never seen it. It was it was so cool. It was like almost almost like a Lucy. It was like a snow but with blue eyes and house snake pattern and form. It was so cool. You hear that? Garrett and Richo Reptiles, we have them here too. Cool. Annalise, all Canadian reptile girl, put her stuff right here and uh, you should like follow her. <laughs> well, thank you. Great to see you. You too. All right. So there we are, the end of the weekend with Dave. And Dave, what was your favorite part about Toronto for the CRBE slash all the other stuff that we did? Uh, I would have to say the reptiles. Which ones? Hang on, oh, wait, wait, hold up. Anyway, you were saying. Well, that was incredibly rude. So we cannot have Fiji Island iguanas in the United States, right? Mm -hmm. And being so jealous that Canadians get to keep them and work with them, mm -hmm. that was the coolest thing I saw. And then there was the blue rhino rat snake, yes. which was amazing. Yeah. A uh, little foreshadowing to my video there. I'm so stoked that you enjoyed Toronto. Thank I you did. for coming. I did. Love Appreciate you. it. Thanks for letting me uh, stash all my crap in your room. Absolutely. Thank so, you for driving uh, me all over town. No problem. So I guess we're going to do that, and that means I'm going to see you in like two weeks. Two weeks in Tinley. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Rattle on.